So the headline for this one is feeling stuck in my QA job need career advice. I'm currently feeling quite stuck in my current job and could really use some advice on how to navigate my career situation. I've been working as the lead QA engineer with my organization for the past seven years, and it used to be a fulfilling role. I even built and managed a team of seven to eight QA engineers from scratch and leading and lead all things QA, new feature testing, regression testing, automation, Selenium, Cypress, rest assured, JMeter, load and performance testing, release sign off and hand over to operations, support ops during rollout, support junior DevOps engineers, etc. However, Due to the downsizing in 2021, the team has been reduced to just two members, including me. Since then, my job has become mononymous. Let's try that again. Mono there. It's become, as you say, it's become um, one tracked and lacked the challenges I used to enjoy. Nowadays, I mainly focus on testing at the end of the development process and sign off or production releases. Additionally, I've managed the internal infrastructure such as environments and deployments, which I find rather unchallenging. To make matters worse, I'm no longer involved in the, in the product discussion or grooming sessions. I used to be in the know when I was leading a team, but now I feel left out of those important conversations. On top of that, turning 40 has added some psychological pressure. I've been applying for QA manager roles, hoping for a change, but haven't had much success so far. I'm at a loss for what my options might be at this point. So I turn to you, fellow Redditors, for some guidance. What do you think I should do in the situation? Any suggestion on how to find more fulfilling work or advance my career? Have you, have any of you faced a similar experience and managed to overcome it? All right, so this kind of goes back to what we were talking about in the beginning. So what do you do? And I think we've addressed this too in the past, right? So you do have some options, right? So you, one of the options you said, like you've been looking for other places, but you have been quite rather unsuccessful in your trying to move, trying to, trying to go to a different job or company, et cetera. My first question is, why do you think that is? Right? Why do you think that is that, um, so you have, Let's see how much you had again. But yeah. So for the past seven years, you've been in that role. And according to you, you've become like very well versed, um, doing all that type of stuff. But, 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 but. How much of your own research and um, learning, self-learning that you've done to improve yourself are you just going based off what the company requirements are for you to do that particular job? Or have you been advancing yourself to, to, to become better, to become amazing, to become the QA engineer, not a QA engineer, but the QA engineer, right? So I'll give you an example for myself, right? When, so the first company that I was doing QA at, I moved up all the way to um, lead QA automation engineer, was leading a team of about maybe five QA automation engineers where we were, you know, um, responsible for, we're responsible for um, like writing all the automated tests, making sure that they were running on a schedule, um, checking the results and all that, right? But when things started to, to go left there, Right where they like the 
the director wanted to go in a different direction, which I was not necessarily on board with, what did I do? Did I just like complain about it and say, oh, um, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I'm just going to, to sit here. No. I said, all right, maybe it's time for me to make a move to a different company. All right. Now, what did I do to get to a different company? So what I had to do was I had to go and look at what other companies job requirements and standards were for the position of QA engineer or senior QA engineer, right? And I saw the things that I was lacking and what I had to work on, what I had to study. And that's what I had to go do. I would wake up three hours, uh, three hours earlier than I would normally would. And I would put in the work. I would study, I would study, I would study. I, I was learning, on, I was learning, I had to relearn the basics of QA because the way that this particular company trained you was for their QA needs and not the industry standard QA needs. So I had to, all right, let me go back and let me start over. Uh, let, me, let me learn all of these and let me then learn the basics of um, how to do QA automation in a, a more comprehensive way. So now I have like the, the basic knowledge because I had the knowledge of QA, but it wasn't like the the foundational knowledge. It was like a patch here, a patch here, and I, and I put it all together. But now getting that, that industry standard comprehensive knowledge, I got it all put together, right? And then I got the QA, the, the automation part put together too to have to learn better ways of doing it, building frameworks, using, um, and this was through Java, but um, building frameworks, I was able to, I was able to um, like understand how the classes work, the methods work in a, in a, in a, not in, in a practical way, but in the sense of like an explanation and not just doing it. Right. So now I have a better explanation. So now when I'm on interviews, I can explain it better. I can, I can be better to, to express what I want to do. Right. And as I'm learning that I, I, I'm working like an extra three hours before, before like waking up three hours early and then going to sleep late, putting in the work, learning all the things I had to learn. Right. So then when I put myself out there, I'm able to explain myself and not just, and not just um, be hoping that the company that I'm at takes a different direction. Now, the part where you're saying that, so it's, it's, it's lax challenges that you used to enjoy. I've addressed this before. I've never, um, I, I've never felt bored or lacking challenges because I create my own challenges. I push, like, I'm always researching, like, as a QA engineer, just as, like, a software, a software engineer, you should never um, stop. There's always new technologies coming out. I, I read a tweet this morning that, like, um, you spend, you, you spend all this time learning all these different frameworks just for them to be outdated in the next five months. As an engineer, there's always new things coming out, new standards, new things to test, right? Like, new packages to test. Like, a great example, the Citronella, uh, page object model package for Python, it was just dropped in my lap a, a few weeks ago by the, by the developer of the package. And I went on, a, we did a live stream together and we, we implemented it and it was great. I had a great time doing it. So the point is, um, there, like you can continue to advance and you can continue to implement new, implement new, um, new technologies, right? The same way, like, I, I implemented, I implemented, um, or we're going to implement report portal and bring that the same way, like we're learning on EC2 and let's say the company doesn't want, doesn't want to pay for you, for you to, um, use AWS services like EC2 to better yourself, do it on your own, right? It's your responsibility because I don't want to hear you saying this. I hate it here. No, that doesn't make any sense. Like you, that's that's how you sound. You sound like you're whining, right? Like you need to get better, and you need to like. So whether you're going to stay at that company or you're going to go to another company, you need to put in the effort so you can make yourself better. So, and before we move on, like one last thing I want to to address, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so right here. So it says to make matters worse. I no longer I'm no longer involved in product discussions or grooming sessions. I used to be in the know when when I was leading a team, but now I feel left out of those important conversations. So 
why is it that you allow yourself to be left out of those important conversations? Right? Why, why, are, you, why are you allowing yourself to be left out of those important conversations? It's, it's up to you to insert yourself, especially as a QA lead, right? You need to insert yourself into those conversations and, and those groomings. Um, it's to say, like, because how are you, like, how are you testing stuff that you don't know about? How are you signing off, signing off on stuff that you don't really have much input on? I, I would, I would never, I would never, if, if I don't understand what, what I'm working on, I'm not signing off on it. Like I would say like, you know what, the people who worked on it, you guys sign off on it, but I'm not getting, giving my, my, I'm not putting my name on the line for a QA stamp of approval that I didn't fully understand. I didn't partake on. All right. No, I can't do it. So I would say it's your job. It's your duty. It's your responsibility to get involved in the product discussions and the grooming sessions, ask questions, ask QA related questions about, okay, what's the testing protocol? How, like, how are you writing your test cases? Right? Like you, 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 you cannot be left out. And I think it's, it's, and, and maybe the reason that you're being left out is because of the sentiments that you're feeling now, because maybe they, they see that you don't really care and you don't want to be there anyways, because people can see that companies can see that. And, and maybe they're expecting you to, maybe they know that you're, you're, you're looking to be on your way out and maybe they don't take you seriously anymore. Because when I have people who, um, who don't really want to do it, I, I don't, I don't really, like, I'm just waiting for them to go. Right. Like, ah, you don't want to be here anyway. So why am I putting effort into you? So if you want to, if you want to turn that around, insert yourself, say like, say, Hey, I want to be invited to the, to the grooming sessions. I want to be invited to the product discussions. I want QA to have a voice. There's only two of us, right? And we should be part of it. We're not, we're not just going to be giving our stamp of approvals because when you give a stamp of approval and your name is on it, you're also responsible for it. So no, get involved in those sessions and those, um, get involved in those sessions, right? And you make, you put QA on the map. You make us proud. All right. So if you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.